Happy Dysautonomia Awareness Month! Starting the week of October 1st, I'll be including a random dysautonomia or POTS fact at the end of every day until the week of November 1st. Sunday, October 18th, 2020. Sunday. I'm starting the vlog a little early this week because Steven and I are on our way to get our flu shots. As you might be able to tell, I got my flu shot first. And then it was Steven's turn. Today I'm grateful that my egg allergy is mild enough for me to be able to get the flu shot safely that the flu vaccine is readily available and generally inexpensive, and that there is a flu vaccine because I would likely have a very hard time fighting the flu if I were to catch it. POTS can be definitively diagnosed via tilt table test. Monday, October 19th, 2020. I woke up and saw that my dogs were cuddling together. I started the day with an infusion. I've been getting lactated ringers lately instead of saline because they seem to work better for my body for some reason. Lactated ringers contain sodium chloride, sodium lactate, potassium chloride, calcium chloride dihydrate, and water. I get these infusions three times a week to help treat my postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. Infusions help me a lot because they help treat the low blood volume that comes with my POTS. Hi everyone, welcome to Monday. I got an infusion at my primary's office this morning and I'm feeling much better. I always feel pretty rotten Monday mornings because I have to go two days over the weekend without infusions, but I'm definitely really grateful that I'm feeling better now. I am about to be on my way to go get an MRI of both of my feet and both of my ankles done. So that's four separate MRIs. And so that's gonna add up to probably about two hours total in the MRI machine. So I'm definitely looking forward to getting that over with. I'll definitely take you guys with me and I will talk to you soon. Spending two full hours in the MRI machine was definitely harder than I thought it would be. I wasn't bored because they played music for me, but it was harder on my body than I expected to stay still for that long. My feet went numb, and my joint pain was aggravated. I spent the evening and most of the next several days in bed because staying still for the MRI triggered a pain flare. Today I'm grateful that I got an infusion, that I was able to get my MRI done, and that I was able to listen to some good music while I was in the machine. Dysautonomia International says that experts estimate that 25% of POTS patients are so disabled that they cannot work or attend school. When I'm dealing with pain, I like to draw using an app on my phone. Drawing takes my mind off of pain, and using my phone is easier on my fingers than using a pen and paper. Friday, October 23rd, 2020. Hi everyone, welcome to Friday. I didn't film for the last couple of days because I've been dealing with a little bit of a pain and nausea flare along with some other GI symptoms. I am feeling a little bit better today though. On Wednesday I got an infusion and yesterday I saw my physical therapist. We talked a little bit about some of the new weakness I have in my right arm. So I have some new exercises to help with that. 
This morning I got another infusion and now I'm going to do some of those physical therapy exercises. This evening I'm going to hang out with Steven and possibly do a little bit of painting. I will keep you guys updated. <laughs> I think this exercise makes it look like I'm trying and failing miserably to tap dance. Hey everyone, so as you saw, I finished my physical therapy. I never got around to doing any painting because I ended up just doing a little bit of cleaning around the house instead. Now Steven and I are just watching The Haunting of Bly Manor and it's really good. So we're gonna just spend the rest of the evening doing that and just taking it easy. So for now, I'm going to say thank you so much for hanging out, and I look forward to talking to you guys again soon. Today I'm grateful that my pain is better. For the time I got to spend with Steven watching a TV show that we are both enjoying, and that I was able to get some cleaning done. Dysautonomia International says researchers compare the disability seen in POTS to the disability seen in congestive heart failure, or COPD. None of what you see in my videos is medical advice. Please contact licensed professionals regarding any concerns you may have. Subscribe to join me on more adventures and follow me on Instagram for more frequent updates.